Hi, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to create a stylized hand using Maya's proxy modeling system. So the, uh, the proxy modeling system gives us a way of manipulating a high-res mesh using a low-res base mesh. And it's a, it's a really nice function that's been put in on Maya for a few years uh, since a plugin was called um, Connect Poly Shape was developed by a third party developer and my uh, Autodesk eventually realized that it was, a, it was a really useful, powerful plugin. So I'm just um, starting to create the uh, hand shape using the Create Polygon tool. So really stylized fingers, so very exaggerated and creating little gaps between the fingers. And I can be quite rough and ready with this because we can uh, we can tweak it when we get into the proxy mode. So there's our main hand. All I need to do, I'm going to use the cut faces tool to just define uh, some of the lines in our hand a bit. It's it's often not great to have end guns in a model in a low polygon model. And right in the center of the hand, I use the shift key to get the very center. And then I uh, just create these final triangles. Great, so that's our low polygon hand. I'm going to get into object mode. And um, I'm going to extrude it. And now we have 3D hand. Bit, bit taller maybe, just so, um, yeah. Right, we've got the sort of volume that we want. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the proxy mode, get into the proxy mode, and I do that while on my computer, which is a Mac, I hold down Control, Shift, and uh, the squiggle or sedilla key. And here you can see that uh, we've got our base proxy mesh and that's controlling the, the, the higher res mesh which is underneath. So I can get into component mode and I'm manipulating the base model but what's actually happening is uh, the actual model underneath is being uh, changed and modified, deformed by the, uh, the control mesh. So it's a really nice quick, powerful way to control um, a high-res mesh with a fairly low-res model. So, just going to get these fingers uh, tucked down underneath the hand. There And um, yeah, uh, just create, get rid of this flatness that's going on in the, in the center of the hand. I've got to raise up that center, raise it at the wrist, pull it down on the other side, and then just get to the underneath of the hand. That's fine. That could be fairly flat underneath. If anything, that can probably move it up a little bit. So, so there's our uh, hand model. So that's kind of cool. So we can extend that by um, going to the, just selecting these wrist parts and then again we can use the extrude tool so you can continue adding to your model by uh, using the extrude tool and it's uh, very intuitive it's a really intuitive way to uh, to create a model extrude it out a little bit this is around the, uh, the elbow region and scale that in just to create that elbow area and just create the, the upper arm, we'll just go up here. Again, and sort of get that bulge going, scale that up. And just create the top of the arm, one more extrusion. And scale that in. Yeah, so um, like one, one of the things you can do as well is you can work uh, in um, in mirror mode using the, uh, the symmetry mode so uh, if I just I can duplicate my model 
and uh, by I'll, I'll select the base model, get to object mode, and so now we've got down like two arms instead of one. But because we um, we're in this um, symmetry mode, uh, we we can uh, we can just manipulate one object and the uh, one one arm, and we we can sort of see the effects in the other arm as well. So this this is a really cool effect. So I'm just going to give a bit of an angle to this arm and I'm just going to soft select mode, that's the, the B modify key and with those polygons selected in the upper arm, I'm just going to move the manipulation uh, axis to where, roughly where the, uh, the elbow is and uh, we can just get that, um, that el get, get the elbow a bit of a bend there and now we can just um, we can manipulate either arm. The other arm is affected. Just get these vertices into the right sort of place to, um, to make for like a right arm. Maybe we can um, tilt that hand down a little bit. Just like that final. Just give a bit of a bend to the wrist. And uh, yeah, yeah. And just move that hand down a little bit. And um, as you can see, this is a really powerful way of uh, quickly creating um, sort of stylized cartoon uh, geometry and characters. It's really good, really powerful for organic shapes. We, uh, and uh, yeah, sort of get, get a really nice model working. And also the, the big advantage of this is that we can also work on the on a low-res model, so if it's for a games model, we've essentially got this connection between a high-res model and a low-res model. So we've got, so we'll have a high-res model for close-up, and we also have our low-res model for level of detail. So this is this is like really nice, and we can, if you press Shift Control and Cedilla again, we can quickly go back to our uh, our sort of single model. So that's um, that's our model created. And so that's nice and simple, and it is just it's just this single arm, and it's really quick to just switch between um, the two uh, different uh, forms, sort of get getting up and running. So um, so that is Maya's proxy mode, really powerful tool.